it's Michelle Vardy, Pro Staff with SBBS. And today I'm going to walk you through our sausage making procedure. We love bear. It's our favorite wild game and we also love making sausage. So today we're going to make Greek style black bear sausage. The first thing we do when we start our sausage making is determine how much wild game we're going to use and determine the wild game to pork ratio, period. In this case, we are doing bear, so we are going to do approximately 70% bear and 30% pork. Now saying that, we try to buy pork loins on sale so the pork is lean to accompany the fat bear. What Kevin's doing now is chopping up the, the trim. We like to do it when it's partially frozen as it grinds better. And also this gives us an opportunity to trim away anything that we don't want to eat. Now that we have some trim cut up, it's time to put it through the grinder. So the next part of our sausage making is going to be getting all our spices and flavorings together. Um, in this case, for the Greek one, we have the black pepper, we have oregano, we have toasted anise, and toasted coriander, and salt. So we will mix all of those together. And then for uh, fresh ingredients, we have uh, onions and garlic. And we will mix all of those together as well. But with the dry ingredients, what we do is we add water. And that way, um, the ingredients all get mixed together. And when we go into the next step, which is mixing the flavorings into our meats, then it will help it be very evenly distributed by having, um, by having the water. Okay, so next we'll move into mixing the meat. The next step is we're weighing out our meat. So first we're going to put in our ground bear. And we are making six times the batch recipe, period. I will post the recipe later in this video if you are interested. The next step is adding our pork until we come up with the total weight to our 70-30 ratio. Okay, so now we're going to put the meat into the, uh, the meat mixer. Um, we're very fortunate right now is that we have one that attaches to our grinder, um, which makes it a lot easier. Um, but you can get the ones that have a crank that you turn it, or you can just put the meat in a big tub and and uh, use elbow grease to mix everything to, uh, together. And as you can see, all we're having to do is just to add our, uh, our, our meat ingredients, get the meat mixed together. And then once we have the meat mixed together, then the, we'll put, be putting in the onions and, um, and garlic mixture, and then followed by the, uh, the liquid. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add the feta cheese in and the feta cheese was cubed and once it was cubed put back in the fridge to keep it chilled and part of the reason for adding it at the end is in that way the cheese doesn't get pulverized when it's going through the uh, mixing process as much 
and that way you do have some chunks of cheese in this wonderful delicious sausage as you can see the sausage is a little bit thick it'll be hard to stuff so we just add more water it won't change the flavor at all it'll just moisten it up a little bit and it'll make it mix better and then in turn go into the stuffer better now that we have our meat mixed we're going to try a sampling of it to make sure we have our spices right and because that's what you do when you make sausage you have to sample it so we flipped our sausage samplers and we're waiting for the internal temperature to get up to 160 degrees. But I'll tell you, if the smell -o meter was on right now, you'd all be lining up for a sample. So the next step is we're gonna get our sausage casings ready, um, prep them in order to get them ready to stuff. And we get ours from a place called F. Marie, on Denison Ave in Scarborough, they do mail order. You can get any size casing that you um, that you want there. So ideally what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it out of the salt, okay? And then you're gonna find the end. And when you find the end, you're gonna open it up. And uh, then you're just gonna put it over top of your tap. And then I tend to use a little bit of warm and a little bit of cool water. And then you want to run the, the water through, through your entire casing. Um, have it come out the other end. Of course, this one's being difficult. Um, and you want to rinse that, rinse that few, through a few times. And then... So the next step is we're going to take our sausage meat and we're going to fill it into the hopper so that we can uh, start to get our sausages stuffed. And we're going to fill the hopper to the top. And oh, does this ever smell delicious. Just remember to pack it in there. Yeah. The tighter it is, the more consistent of a uh, sausages that you will have more consistent density. No air bubbles. That's probably good. Now that we have our, our sausage casings filled, we're gonna turn them into links. And you're gonna twist one way and then twist the other way. Twist alternate ways. So for our next step, we're getting ready to get the sausages prepped to be packaged up. Um, what we do is we let them sit in the bin overnight, um, chilled of course, and then the next day we put them out on towels to just to dry them off before they get packaged. Now you could, if you had racking systems, you could hang them from racks, but we just don't have that yet. Um, so this is the um, procedure that we tend to follow. So we just take the links that we made yesterday and we just cut them, put them on, uh, on these towels and we'll go through this whole process with them and then the next thing we'll do is package them. So we have the sausages all separated and cut. And now what we're gonna do is just put another towel over top. And we're just gonna work on uh, gently rolling the sausages back and forth. 
just to get the moisture off of them. And we're gonna keep doing that. And then once we've got that done, then we're gonna take our sausage in our pre-labeled bags. And we tend to put four sausages in a bag. Seems to be a good quantity for us. And, and there we go. Now we're ready to go with the vacuum sealing. Um, there's all different kinds of vacuum sealers you can buy, rate right from inexpensive ones to, to really expensive ones. Ours is about um, middle of the range. Um, we tend to like to seal it double, okay? And, and we have a button that does that. And you just hit the button and the machine does the rest of the magic. The machine does um, a countdown to let you know where it's done. Um, as far as your vacuum sealer bags, we used to always just purchase ours from Cabela's and we found them, them hard to get as well as very expensive. So the last couple times we've just bought them off of Amazon and they're absolutely comparable quality to the ones that we were purchasing from Cabela's and they're probably about half of the money. So there you go. Now we're done. We've got our first two packages of Bear Greek sausage processed and ready to enjoy some wild game with friends and family.